Welcome to my channel. My name is Naja and I'm sharing with you thrifty, frugal, budget-friendly hacks for 2024 that you need to go ahead and start implementing now. 2023 is gone, however, but that doesn't mean that you have to empty your wallet to celebrate 2024. In this video, I'm going to share with you some thrifty holiday hacks or just anytime celebration hacks to make the most of your celebrations without breaking the bank. If you have not done so already, please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more content from me that I bring each week and thank you guys so much Bacon Bit Squad for being here. Let's go ahead and get into these tips. Tip number one, DIY it if you can. Instead of spending a fortune on store-bought anything, why not get creative and make your own? Use recycled materials and items that you already have to create a unique budget-friendly items that comes with a significantly less expensive price tag. I recently DIY'd elderberry syrup and gummies for my family and friends that I'm gifting to them guys. If you have not watched that video, I will leave it in the eye in the sky so that you can do this with cakes, jams, ornaments, etc. It adds a special touch to the items and gives a personalized touch to your gifts. You just need to know what the individual is like and then you can let your imagination run wild. Tip number two guys is homemade gifts. Homemade gifts are always a hit. Rather than buying the expensive presents, consider making personalized heartfelt gifts for friends and loved ones. Handcrafted candles, scented soaps, body scrubs, whipped body butters, or even a handwritten letter can show your thoughtfulness without draining your bank account. Remember, we're trying to put thought into these handmade gifts and sharing our talents with others that you can share with the special people in your life. Maybe they've been wanting to learn the piano, editing videos, sewing. I mean, it could be anything that you know how to do. So it doesn't actually have to be a homemade gift, but maybe your talent is the gift to them. So these are all great ideas that require no money needed. Remember, sharing is caring. Tip number three, try organizing a brunch. A lot cheaper than a dinner, a lot cheaper than a lunch. I mean, and who doesn't like to eat great food and be around people they enjoy the company of? Hosting a holiday gathering can be expensive, but it doesn't have to be. Invite friends and families to contribute a dish, turning your celebration into a fun feast. You could also opt to shop at stores such as Aldi, which typically have lower prices for brunch items that you need. If you're buying fresh fruit, opt for the fruit of the week that is on sale, along with checking the circular to help you plan your brunch feast. A little pre-planning and preparation not only will save you money, but it will also bring everyone close together. Tip number four, shop smart during sales and after sales. Keep an eye out for discounts, those special offers, those coupons, cashback websites such as Rakuten, Swagbucks, Honey, during the holiday season. Plan your shopping in advance and not when you are in a rush because you are likely to overspend if you do so. Make sure you create a list of individuals, the dollar amount, and the number of items per person. And most importantly, stick with that, guys. Don't try and go over that amount. Don't try to get more than what you see on the list. Get what is on the list with the dollar amount. After Christmas sales, which are going on currently, are great ways to purchase items that are 50% off or more. My youngest son's Christmas gifts this year are from Walmart, the after Christmas sale from like three years ago. He will absolutely love them and the best part about it is I did not pay full price for anything. Remember, it's not about the quantity of the gifts but the thought behind them. And I'm going to show you some of the items that I picked up from Walmart as well as some items that I picked up from Michaels that I'm going to be gifting my son, not just for Christmas, but also throughout the year. These items came from Michaels. We have a color in wood train kit. This was $3 on clearance. Very, very nice. It has the paint in here already, as well as a lot of other things. It says it's for ages six plus, it'll take 30 minutes, but this is ideally what the train will look like if you do it to what it says here. But of course, you know, the kids are going to decorate it the way that they want to. Also, we have a banner craft kit here. This was $1 on clearance. Very, very nice. And then also we have color in magnet. So we have this rainbow here with the paint, 
colors as well as the paintbrush. It says eight plus 30 minutes. This one says six plus 30 minutes, but it tells you everything that's in here. What a great buy, only $2 for this right here. So I picked up at Walmart these Avengers playing cards as well as the dominoes. So we have these here, they were $2.50 as well as we have the jumbo playing cards here. These also were $2.50. And then one item that I'm really excited about that I know he's going to love, because he was so young, like three years ago, so I waited to give this to him. So it's going to be a create and learn do-it-yourself train kit, 10-piece build kit. And here it has where you can build an entire railway. It has all of the real world working tools. Guys, this was only $5. $5 at Walmart, guys. It includes a conductor, apron, it has a hammer, slotted screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, two clamps, tape measures, safety glasses. I mean, it's the real deal. Like your kid is going to feel and be like they are in their own building zone. So make sure that guys that you take advantage of those after Christmas sales and even before the Black Friday sales, a lot of things are on sale then. I would maybe kind of caution a little bit with some of the Black Friday sales because as we've seen, they hiked up a lot of the prices and said that they were a sale for Black Friday. So maybe before Black Friday, September, October timeframe, and then the after Christmas sales. And that's your tip number four. Tip number five is embracing DIY entertainment. So instead of spending money on expensive outings, create your own fun at home. Organize a movie night with different homemade snacks and drinks and movie choices. If you have a projector, you can also show the movie in your backyard to make it a more of a drive-in experience. Board game competitions are always fun. And one of my favorite things to look at on Instagram is to organize a themed night for each person bringing a food and a drink item that starts with a letter. So for example, the letter C, your guests could bring cookies, cheese, crackers, chicken quesadillas, cob salad, cream cheese, chips, the list can go on and on. Memorable experiences guys, remember they don't have to come with a hefty price tag. As with the other tips that I've shared, you just need to make sure that you are creative and that you think outside the box, but inside your home for this particular activity. Tip number six, earn gift cards and cash using various apps, surveys, websites, and side hustles from the comfort of your home in order to offset those prices for budget-friendly ways and not to spend a lot during the holidays and celebrations. Sometimes you are just the person that loves to give gifts from the store and that is part of your giving love language and there's nothing wrong with that. If that is you, then take some of the sting from your wallet by earning those gift cards and those cash through different ways throughout the year. You guys know if you've been here for quite some time that I earned through many different ways to fund my vacation expenses, my personal expenses, and my everyday needs through those various ways that I just mentioned, okay? So why exactly would you pay out of pocket when you have so many ways to earn and get gift cards and cash back. If you have not watched my playlist that documents how much I earn each month and side hustles from home, the playlist will be linked above for you to get caught up. And the ones that I use are located in my description box with referral codes to get you started if you're interested. So there you have it guys, six thrifty holiday hacks for 2024. Celebrating on a budget does not have to mean that you're sacrificing the joys of gift giving. Get creative, think outside the box, and most importantly, enjoy the time that you spend with your friends and your loved ones. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips, budgeting, and sharing my mortgage-free lifestyle content. Happy holidays guys! Bye!